Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are back playing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet once again. Uh, still doing the Teal Mask DLC. Uh, in between episodes, I did level up Ursa Luna a little bit, got him hyper-trained, uh, slapped a modest mint on him. Turns out he learns Moonblast, because why wouldn't he? <laughs> it's great for coverage anyway. Um, so yeah, let's just keep on rolling. Um, we do have to talk to Perrin again. So let's see what she has to say. I've been waiting for you to come by, partner. I managed to develop the photos I took of the Blood Moon Beast. Yeah, show me. Well, the fact is that once I got them all printed out, I could see that the photos I managed to get were all blurry or cut off or out of focus. They really aren't good enough to show anyone, not even you, partner. But still, out of all the photos I've ever taken, I think they may be my favorites. I think I've gotten too caught up in my own head, worrying about farming or framing or what the judges might say. Farming. Always thinking about what I, uh, what I ought to capture. But just capturing your subjects as they are, that's what photos should be. You taught me something important, partner, so thanks for that. Ah, that's right, your name. I never even asked you your name. That's awful of me, after all you did to help, but mind teaching me your name? You can call me Zack. Perfect name for a gutsy kid like you. Well then, nice to officially meet you, Zack. The name's Perrin, a photographer with a renewed love of photography. I can say that with pride now. Ah, and your reward. You've earned yourself a real choice reward for all the help you've been. Obtained a choice scarf. Oh, and this Growlithe of mine has a younger brother that really loves battling. I think you'll do a good job of raising it good and strong. Raise it to be real strong, okay? I think that about wraps it up. I did what I came here to do, so I guess I should hit the road. I'm afraid this is goodbye. But you know, Growlithe like these are known for living and working together in pairs. Even if they are separated for a while, I bet their paths might just cross again someday. So you raise that one with care in the meantime. I'll raise this Growlithe to be strong. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you pull off. I've got high hopes. So bye for now, Zack. Until next time. <laughs> Bow wow! Okay, so we got a uh, Heesui and Growlithe. That's pretty neat. Yeah, it's pretty neat. So, uh, let's check them out, I guess. Let's see. Jolly Nature. Three good stats. And he has Rockhead. So, he's pretty good. Mmm. Trying to think. I know I have some redundant typings here. Like Sinistra and Diplin are both grass, but he's also ghost. He's also dragon. Um, Ursaluna and Mamoswine are redundant, but there's ice and normal. Um I Oh, excuse me. I do want to use this Growlithe. Like Rabombi is a good Pokemon. But it's not helping out as much as I thought, so I'm going to swap it out. Let's uh, dump some candies into them. Let's do... Let's see how much 20s... Oh, okay, that's... <laughs> Oops. Uh, helping hand? No. Fire Fang? No. Retaliate? No. Crunch? No. Take down, no. Flamethrower, no. Roar, no. Rock slide, no. Nah. Reversal, no. Flare blitz, yes. <laughs> All right. So, sort by name. Let's find. A Firestone. 
Oh, I have a couple. Oh, excuse me for yawning, sorry. Let's evolve this boy. Oh, so majestic. Extreme speed? Heck yeah, great move. Wants to forget how. Yeah, we'll do that. Alrighty. Now if we go check summary. Go remember a move he should. Does he have head smash? Oh yeah, that's right. It's a it's an egg move. That's right. Well, so you use TMs to learn moves. Wild charge. All right, I do want to get head smash on him though, but he's fine for now. Yeah, I'm liking this team. It's pretty good. Oh, he's a big boy, too. Oh, I love it. Alright, so let's uh, see what's up with Kieran. Now that we've finished with Perrin. Oh, uh, hey, hey, Zach. So I, uh, I, I was gonna ask, what were you and my sis just uh, talking about? Uh, this and that, I guess. Oh, I, I see. S so, about those signs. There's, uh, the last one is a bit of a hike away. It's in the Paradise Barrens on the other side of Oni Mountain. We'll need to head over the mountain and down towards the northwest. You go on ahead, I'll catch up. Why... Why, why'd you lie to me? Alright, so... Obviously he knows we're lying. So let's, uh... Yep, we gotta go here. Move destination. Fly. Fly to this spot. There we go. Oh, there's no real... Oh, excuse me. Yandy, huh? Snap time. These are the Paradise Barrens. Pretty lonely place, huh? According to the old legends, the ogre used to be seen around here lots. Hey, before we check out the sign, could you battle me? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, uh, let me heal up our Pokemon. This time, I'll win. Alright, let's see what his team looks like now. Still Yanma. Well, I got an Arcanine with your name on it. I, I wanna win. I wanna win, so I got this. I'm gonna flare blitz it. I should have thought things through. It it wasn't supposed to go like this. About to send out Polyrath. Oh, okay. Switching out. We got Diplin. Sends out Polyrath. Alright. Brick break. Okay. Doesn't do too much. And 
playground speed fell. Nice. He's about to send out his own Diplin. I do like the move that uh, Diplin has. Uh, syrup Bomb. So he coats the target, causes the target speed to drop uh, for three turns. Each turn for three turns. That is good. Got this, Diplom. Get them all covered in syrup. Dude, that did no damage to me. At all. He's using his own Dragon Pulse. Ooh, ouch. Did a lot of damage. Okay, for it. We have a come o for that. Why? Why does it have to be like this? Why? Okay, he sends out for it. Is that your last Pokemon? Okay, yeah, it's his last Pokemon. But, uh... Yeah, look how shiny... Komowo scales are. That's awesome. And for it baited. Oh, Komowo wants to learn Boom Burst. Tags uh, everything around it with a destructive power of a terrible, explosive sound. Uh. Not bad, but I can't really find room for it, so... It, it's all because I'm too weak. I lost. It's because I'm weak. That's why I... We should go check out the sign. Come on. Let's get this over with. Oh, he getting angry. If you see a shadowy figure approaching you outside the village at twilight, be wary. Don a mask at once and hide your face. Do so, and whether the shadow is man or monster, you will pass each other by as fellow mask wearers. If you should meet the shadow when you have no mask in hand, then pray that it is only a man. If it is, you will live on to see another day, and you will remember to never forget your mask again. But if it is the ogre, you will meet your end, as do all humans whose faces are seen by it. Once it sees your face, your soul will be forfeit, and you shall never return to the village. In the old days, everyone carried masks wherever they went, and the one who made those masks was actually my great-great-great-grandpa's great-great-great-grandpa or something. That's amazing. I mean... I don't think any of that stuff about the ogre stealing souls is true or anything, but it is true that our family used to make masks. Our family has a long line of masks ma mask makers. Even my gramps can make them. I even heard that the reason we hold the festival of masks is because our ancestors came up with the idea. But I don't really like what they wrote on this sign here. Just because the ogre seems sort of scary, everyone got all afraid of it and drove it away from the village. But I'm pretty sure the ogre must have been lonely on its own. Left all alone like that? Treated like some kind of outcast? 
You're right. You think so too, huh, Zack? Want to take that last photo? All right, assignment done. <laughs> yep, we're all done with our assignment now. But I've got to get stronger with my Pokemon. I'm gonna head home. Get some rest at the community center. All right. Oh yeah, there's Jangmo. I haven't caught one yet, but. Yeah, look how shiny the scales are. Oh. She fell down. Um. Yeah, Flare Blitz shouldn't knock it out. There we go. And she used Outrage. Ow, okay, yeah, that did a lot. Um, let's go ahead and Luxury Ball. Nope. Okay. Outrage again. Maybe I should have kept Rabombi. <laughs> Be immune to outrage. Uh, you know what? I already got the Jangma O and uh Luxury ball. We'll just catch this one with a with an ultra ball. No, really? Can't really do anything else to it. Oh, it's confused. And use dragon ball. All right, cool. Come on, you get in the ball. No, you're just gonna be difficult. We're gonna go out to Ursa Luna. I think Ursa Luna has the highest defense stat on my team. So we're gonna use him. Oh, big boy. Yeah, see, that only did 60 damage, and that Jango always a plus one. So come on. Get in the ball. There we go. Jingmo was caught. Yay. The scale atop its head is useful for both offense and defense. It bravely stands and faces its foes rather than turning tail, even if its foes are strong. Now let's check her stats out. Okay, so. That is lax nature. Also, I think it's pretty cool, but uh, you see all of the nose pass here? They're all facing due north. I thought that was pretty cool. I think they do that on Pokemon Go, too. So, let's go back here. Nurse Joy, uh, she does. She could not give less of a crap about her job. <laughs> Just standing there on her phone. All right, do I talk to you now? Candy fruits of the festival masks had such a unique flavor. Okay. Ready to call it a night? I am. The next day. Good morning, Zack. 
Carmen wanted me to tell you that she's waiting at her place. She said, You better get a move on and don't keep me waiting. Head to Carmen's house. Okay. the game performed a little better. Like, honestly. Zack, you sure took your sweet time. I wanted to talk to you before Kiki gets up. I wanted to fix Dear Ogre Pond's mask, but I'll need one more material if I want to do a proper job of it. Yeah. According to Grandpa, we need to get a crystal cluster from the bottom of the crystal pool. I mean, we could just return the mask as it is, but I think it would make Ogre Pond real happy if we fixed it up first. Yeah, I bet it would. Especially now that I've heard the real story. I just want Ogre Pond to be happy, you know? Sure, Ogre Pond will be pleased to know you care so much for it. Right? Morning, Grandpa. Oh, good morning, Kieran. Kiki, you better go kill time somewhere. Yeah, yeah, do whatever you want, sis. I excuse me? You don't need uh, you don't need that kind of attitude from you, or I don't need that kind of attitude from you. I've got stuff to do, okay? What's his problem? He's all been out of shape since yesterday. I don't know. He spent the evening in his room without so much as a bite of dinner. Must be teen angst or something. It happens. It could have been hard to get the stuff done, or it would have been hard to get the stuff done with Kiki clinging to you, Zack. Guess things worked out in our favor. The crystal pools at the top of Oni Mountain. I'm not usually too keen on outsiders heading up the mountain, but I think we can make an exception for you. Let's say you and I go for a hike to find ourselves a crystal cluster. Okay, so we need to go to the top of the mountain. Yep, I already discovered it. Oh, excuse me. Oh, hiccups. Alrighty. There you are, Zach. Come on, get a load of this. Or come on, get a load of this view. This is the crystal pool. Bet you didn't expect it to be so pretty, huh? The crystals here are always shining. Isn't that strange? There's even a weird rumor that you can meet people here who've passed away. Now we'll just need to get a little bit of the crystal from the bottom of the pool so we can fix the mask properly. And that's where you come in, Zack. Go on then, jump in. Don't be scared. You want me to jump in? Well, yeah, I can't swim. And besides, my clothes would get all soaked if I did. You've got a real nifty Pokemon to ride on, right? You'll be fine. Oh, Jesus. What in the... An earthquake? <gasps> Milotic! Ooh! Ooh, look at the texture of the scales! Woohoo! This one looks strong. You're awfully lucky that I'm around. Sure am. Alright, so that Milotic's actually absolutely gonna destroy my Arcanine. Um. See, I can go into Diplin. Diplin dual resists water. But if it has an ice move, then Diplin's screwed. Um, well, so would be Sinistra, but Sinistra wouldn't be as screwed. We're going with Diplin. Yep, Arcanine, come back. Go, Diplin! Well, Peko used Aura Wheel. Oh. 
guess I really didn't need to do that. It's weak. Come on, let's finish this. Oh, it does have a dragon move. Ooh, boy. Okay. Um, or a wheel. You didn't even need me. Oh. That's disappointing. Sheesh, that surprised me. Now that I think about it, Pokemon like that one do show up here from time to time. You know, you're pretty handy to have around in a battle, aren't you? Yeah, not that time. Oh boy, look at that, a crystal cluster. Wow. Hey, is that? <coughs> mm, sorry. You obtain the crystal cluster. You put it away in your key items pocket. A cluster of the crystals found within the crystal pool. They sparkle brilliantly and are apparently necessary to repair a certain mask. Maybe it was stuck to that Pokemon you fought. The energy coming from those crystals at the bottom of the pool. I knew it. Miss Briar? Hey there, Carmen. And Zack, too. I thought you were paired up with other students. Didn't you dis or did you decide to switch things up? Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Briar, but this place is actually pretty special. I'm not a big fan of outsiders just wandering around up here. I'm aware that this is sacred ground, yes. I did get permission from the caretaker, though. Was that not sufficient? Why did you come here? Oh, just doing a bit of field research, I was interested in the properties of the water here. And, well, my hunch was on the money. You see, the crystal pools water emit energy of the same wavelength as terrestrial energy, though I have no idea why that is. Once I figure that out, I might be able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomena, phenomena in regions other than Paldea. Uh, I see. Well, um, we've got somewhere to be, so... Let's head back, Zack. Yeah, I wonder if there are wild Milotic around here. He's sick. I want a Milotic. Oh, health feather. Ooh. My air growed on me down there. What is that? Is that an Arrow Kuda? God, they are so tiny. Okay, yeah, got away safely. Bronzong, blech. I am a little disappointed we haven't seen a shiny yet, though. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave. This is, uh... <sighs> Not... So good with all these little Aracuda around. Just gonna grab these first, though. Like, look at them. You can barely see the darn things. <gasps> there are Feebas here. I did, well... Yeah, I did get a, a, a prism scale from... Uh, from the Pokedex reward, so I guess I should have seen that coming. Alrighty. Dr. Carmen's grandpa again. Hey, grandpa, we got the crystal cluster you needed. Zach, Carmen, I'm so sorry. Huh? Did something happen? Kieran, he. He ran off with the mask. <sighs> sorry if the mic picked up the dogs. They are very loud and obnoxious and annoying. 
What? Why would Kiki do that? Did you tell him about the ogre or something? I haven't said a word. Right. I'm sorry. I knew you wouldn't just go blabbing to him like that. Kieran seemed to be headed to the Loyalty Plaza with the mask. I think it would be best for you two to go after him. Alright. So we just gotta run up here. Toxic. Wait, that wasn't a TM before? Just now was? Huh. Alright, Kieran. Why'd you steal the mask? Zack. Kiki, what in the world do you think you're doing? You two knew, didn't you? You knew that the ogre wasn't the real bad guy in the stories. The loyal three were the real bad guys, but the ogre's the one that gets treated like an outcast. You... you knew? And you two did the same thing to me. You treated me like an outcast when you went and met the, with the ogre. Blah 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 blah. Cannot speak. I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean... You're no different than those villagers back then. You know how much I love the ogre. You acted like I didn't know anything, but you were laughing at me behind my back all along. That's not what happened at all. Liar. You a liar! What's gotten into you, Kiki? You're acting real off today. Zack, battle me. If you win, I'll give them I'll give you the mask back. So, come on, battle me already. Okay. Okay, let's do this then. Get to your position. I'm not gonna hold anything back, you hear me? Alrighty. Another battle with Kieran. Oh, he finally evolved his Yanma. I know this isn't right, but I can't just hand over the mask to you. Sure you can, it's easy. All you gotta do is just hand it to me. I can come back from this. I got this. I got this. Took out the on Mega, no problem. I did lower the game audio a little bit. I noticed it was a little high. So hopefully that fixed it. Um, Polyrath, okay. Polyrath! Gonna go with a wild charge. Okay, did a decent amount. Need to get this right. I'm gonna make sure to give the right commands. Hydro pump. Well, rip Arcanine. It was a crit. That got you good, huh? I could beat you, Zack. I will win. Yes, got him. Just gotta keep up the momentum now. Hmm. Yeah, that was my own fault. Should have swapped out to Sinistra. Alrighty. I'm gonna use Machigacha. Hydropunk. That did no damage, yeah. Sorry, Arcanine. Your trainer's a moron. And I got all my HP back. Nice. About to send out Cramorant. Hmm. 
Well, the only thing that has anything super effective on it is Mammal Swine, so... Yes, I know Cramorant is a water type. I know that. Probably gonna get my butt kicked, but whatever, it's fine. It's fine. We got this. I'm even gonna Terrastalize to Poison so I lose the water weakness. I wonder, if it gets, I wonder if it gets Poison Jab. Take advantage of the Poison Terra type. Oh, nope, never mind. I'm not even going to hit my uh, Stone Edge. So, Surf. Oh, it picked up an Aerocuda. Black. Oh, God. That <laughs> did way more than I expected it to. Oh, man. Okay, he's about to send out Gligar. But why? I have Ice Shard. Oh, you live? Earthquake? Oh, well. Jeez. <laughs> okay. This is the best challenge out of him we got yet, so... <sighs> okay... Oh, Sinistra has Scald, so... Going back out into Sinistra. Scald. Dual Wing Beat. Oh, that's back. That's cool. Scald. And Diplin is his last Pokemon. Okay, Sinistra, switch out. Kamo'o. So uncomfortable and creaky. All right, Dragon Claw, let's go. Oh, jeez. Syrup bomb didn't go for like Dragon Pulse or anything. Okay. Dragon Claw again. We win. Defeated Pokemon Trainer Kira. Why? Why can't I be as good as you? Oh, man. Ah! Oh, my hand. <laughs> Ow. Kiki, are you alright? Here, I promised. Return the teal mask to you. Say hi to the ogre for me. Hey, listen, Kiki, I should apologize for... I'm going home. I'm sorry about all that. He's normally not, not like this at all. You think most people act up like that around Kieran's age? I don't know. Right. I sure never let teenage angst go to my head like that. I don't know what to do with him. Oh. <laughs> hey, can you hear something? Is it coming from the Loyal Three Monument? Oh boy.
sky laser. I think they aren't played out enough already. No, they're back from the dead, apparently. Interesting. Huh? Huh? What in the world? <laughs> Griffic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Drugs are bad. Okay. <laughs> Yip it bippy. <laughs> what do you want? What are they doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seriously, what is going on? What was that all about? Pokemon from the old folk tale. Hey, you're right. There were three of them, and they all looked sinister. That's gotta be them. The story said they were laid to rest under the statues, right? What brought them back to life? Wait, they ran off towards Kitakami Hall. That can't be good. Let's go after them. Come on, Zack. Yup. Oh, there we go. Fly to the spot, yes. I also think I'm an undiagnosed ADHD kid. I like to like to tap my foot a lot. All right. That, that's all the chair squeaking. I'm just tapping my foot. Well, if it isn't Zack, if only you'd been here a few minutes earlier. Hey, did those lousy three Pokemon come here? I believe you mean the loyal three, Carmen. Forget about that silly title. Always with your attitude. But yes, you did miss out on an incredible treat. The loyal three were just visiting our humble little hall. It seemed they wished to collect the shining masks we've kept safe here at Kitakami Hall. So naturally, we representatives of the hall were happy to return the masks to them, to them with all haste. You gave them the masks? And we offered them a platter of our special Kitakami Moshi, packed full of our best herbs. Did I say plaked? I meant packed, sorry. The loyal three gobbled them up in a flash. And you fed them? Kitakami Mochi are full of nutrition. The loyal three are bigger and stronger now, I'm sure. But those lousy three are the bad guys. The masks belong to Ogre Pond. Ugh, I wish I could tell them everything. So, where did those three go? They went at once to ascend Oni Mountain. Perhaps they have it in mind to finish off the terrible ogre that lurks in the dreaded den. No wonder they were dubbed the Loyal Three. Such hard-working heroes they are. <laughs> this isn't the time to be laughing at all. If the story we heard is true, then those three must have gone to get revenge on Ogre Pond. They say that the ogre fought using the powers of its masks. But Ogre Pond doesn't have any masks right now, right? It won't stand a chance. Let's return its mask then. So it can whip their butts again. Yeah, we're on the same page. Uh, you head to the dreaded den and help Ogre Pond. I'll get back home and get the mask fixed up. Give me the mask and the crystal. You give Carmen the teal mask and the crystal cluster. Thanks. I'll head your way the moment the mask is fixed. Until then, make sure Ogre Pond's safe. Alright. So we need to go to the dreaded den. 
So, uh, shoot. Can't fly there, so. I have to go this way. Oh, since I run into every lantern and signpost known to man. Tandem mouse. Also, my Pokemon are not healed up. That was unfortunate. I need to heal these guys. Up air slash, that's a good deal. Fragment. What? I didn't pick that up. Come on. There we go, Zen. Headbutt. Oh, there's a Clefairy just wandering around. Uh, yep, we gotta go this way. Oh, it's Wild Terra Geo, dude. That's cool. Oh boy, they're already beating the heck out of it. Imagine being a uh, Pokemon voice actor and you get to play a Pokemon. You just get paid money to just say gibberish the whole time. Mmkey! Mm oh, he changed it up so it's not mmkey anymore. It's mmkey. Mmkey! Okay, Monkey Dory. Um. I don't know, they, these three all look like they're dark type. So... I don't know. I can go out to Ursaluna. Ursaluna has moon blast. I also have Kamo'o, but I think Monkey Dory might be psychic type just by the look of it. He's got a big head. So I think it might be dark psychic. So if it's dark psychic, then Drain Punch will be neutral, so I'm better off going with Ursulina. Go, big bear. Oh yeah. Sludge wave? Is it poison type? Is it dark poison? Well, if it's poison type, the moon blast is going to be neutral. Or is it just coverage for fairy weakness? I don't know. I'm just going to use blood moon. Psychic. Okay, so it is psychic type. Or is that just coverage? I don't know. Honestly, I don't. <sighs> key! Key! Okay. Okay. <laughs> I 
Knock it off, all of you. They were trying to go three against one on you, huh? I guess a fair fight's too much to expect. But now that we're here, we'll make you regret ever coming back to life. Mmm, Kiki. Ah! They ran away! Hmm. I guess it's too much for them to handle. Zack, I, uh... Go on, say it properly. Uh, about the mask. I just got so angry, and... What I did was real dumb. So, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry too, dude. Blame your sister, I wanted to tell you. She didn't. So, be mad at her, not me. <laughs> Thanks, Zack. He was sulking around, so I grabbed him by the collar and dragged him here. And, well, I'm glad I did. Pong, pong! Oh my god, look at it. It's so freaking cute. I love it. It's really you, the real-life ogre. Wowzers, you're really something. You wanted to be the one to give the mask back to Ogre Pond, right, Kiki? This is... For you, dear ogre. Gah. Grr. It seems scared. Maybe it's not good with new people, Kiki. I don't think it'll take the mask if I'm the one giving it back. You should be the one to do it, Zack. You return the teal mask to Ogre Pond. <laughs> it's so freaking adorable. Hee <laughs> hee, it seems so happy. It seems pretty comfortable around you, Zack. Be nice if we could give the other three masks back to Ogre Pond too, don't you think? Did those... Did those three Pokemon take the masks that were in Kitakami Hall? Yeah, never mind that the masks rightfully belong to poor Ogre Pond... Uh, that Ogre Pond here. I don't know why my mouth just gave up on that. <laughs> wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't put it past the so-called Loyal Three to plot a secret ambush, either. We need to keep Ogre Pond safe while we deal with them. That means the three of us are going to form a team. The Mask Retrieval Squad. Yeah, count me in. Good idea, isn't it? And you get to be my second-in-command. Can I come, too? Of course you can! And now that that's settled, let's go gather intel about those loyal three in Masui. We're gonna get those masks back. We can do this! Yeah! <laughs> we can do this! We feel great! We can win! Yes! 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 Oh, Ogre Pond will follow me around. Oh! Oh, you're so freaking cute! Oh! Alright. Um... You know what? This is a good place to end the episode here. Uh, thank you guys so much for lo uh, for loving, for watching this. Uh, leave a like, is what I was trying to say. Uh, it'd be appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already. Oh my god, you're so cute. Uh, not just Ogre Pond, each and every one of you. You're adorable, too. <laughs> Alright. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.